last time on the thrilling adventures of Godbrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. Godbrush? Threepwood! Then you're the one who stopped my men with this accursed cheap imitation summoning artifact! Uh, it's me, Godbrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. Uh-oh. Shut your hole, hook boy! The mask! Onward to repair the ship, and then we shall save the Mer Leader, and maybe find La Esponja Grande. Gotta get my mask fixed. <coughs> and up, up, up to the shop. Over and under. All right. Talk to you again. Yep. You again? should prepare. So I see. What can I get you? I found a tree. You can I'm use. gonna need another mask replacement, and I'm pretty sure I found a suitable tree on a small island just north of the Rock of Gelato. Yeah. I'll go check it out. Hey, you were right. That was fast. Never used a rubber tree for a mask before, but it worked just fine. Your ship is ready and better than ever. She's always so fast. I wonder how she does it. Alrighty. I think I'm good. Away we go. See ya. Don't be a stranger. It's funny. He wouldn't sell anywhere with a hairline fracture. A big fracture? He let us sell to Burleigh Island and then back to here. Up the plank. Alrighty, to the map again. To oh, it's gotta use the map. Winslow. Straight on to McGillicuddy's <coughs> ship. Yep. Yes, sir. On board. Shove off, Scruffy. Scruffy? You know how long it took me to grow this beard this way? Tell me the ritual words, or you'll be sleeping with the fishes. Hey, right, get him to talk again. Hey, McGillicuddy. Three words. McGillicuddy? It's so McGilla it's Putty. Like McGilla Putty. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You be wearing on me nerves, Sweetwood. Don't you ever get tired of losing? Oh, I, I don't never intend lose. on losing this time, kelp sucker. Give me your best shot. Go. Boing. No! My ship! Damn you, Sweetwood! Uh, it's me, Guy Rush Sweetwood. Mighty Fire. Shut up! Shut up! That'll teach you to mess with Guybrush. Oh no, the Merleader! Nicely done, Guybrush. Once underwater, I was easily <laughs> able to escape. The Vecalians are in your debt. Now let's go home. Good chosen! I'm gonna hold. I knew uh -huh. you'd make a good captain from the moment I saw your beard. Thank you, Mr. Winslow. Now, back to the Jerkbait Islands before Elaine's pox gets any worse. <clears throat> the map, sir. The what? I like it when you point on the map. Oh, very well, Mr. He's Winslow. Weird. I like it when you point on the map, sir. Let's get out of here, Mr. Okay. Winslow. To the Jerkbait Islands. For the Jerkbait Islands, Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir, Captain Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood, on behalf of the Mer people of the Jerkbait Islands, I wish to extend our deepest thanks and gratification. Please approach. Not at all. It was my duty. Uh, how about a reward instead? Guybrush! Indeed. I return to you in its former glorious state, your prized wow. pyrite parrot of Petaluma. Ah, it's me, Garbrush Freepwood. Mighty, Mighty pirate. pirate, I know. Thanks. If there is but anything like the else we can offer you, I wish please I had a parrot. feel free to ask. No thanks. Is hey, if anyone's able to make a pirate parrot of uh, Petaluma, <laughs> I'd love to get see it. <laughs> Sorry, something got stuck in my throat. <laughs> Actually, there is something. 
I need to find Les Ponte Grande. Actually, there is one thing. I sort of caused this pox, and I need a Sponge Grande to fix that. Mm. Especially now. Yep. What do you mean by that, you worthless piece of wood? <laughs> Excuse me. I have the artifact. Oh, she's Will so you cute. the she's, ceremonial ritual to you know, summon the legendary sea creatures to take me there? Not as cute you as my girlfriend, rush, though. Are the holder of the summoning items. You must be the one to use them. <coughs> Come, give me the artifact. I will teach you the ritual words. Yeah, thanks for not actually giving them to her, just dropping them in the water. This and throw it with all your might into the ocean. Then speak these words. Oh, great legendary creatures of the sea! Come on, come on, boys. Get the ball. You want the ball? Ha, ha, ha. You want the ball? Come get it. Really? Those are huh. the ceremonial ritual words? Interesting. So it has been written. When you are ready, they will lead your ship to where you need to be. Again, thank you, Guybrush Threepwood. And good luck in your journey. All right, on we go. Again. Well, and again, and that. again, and again. Come on, Elaine. Let's get that sponge and go home. Wait. I just need to check up on the chuck and those monkeys. You go ahead and summon the creatures. I'll meet you at your ship in just a moment. <sighs> I'm starting to think that chuck was less of a nuisance when he was an evil zombie demon. He was. Alrighty. Never trust the chuck. All right, onward, 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 over and onward. Tally ho, blah blah blah. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. That's the way. Uh huh, uh huh. I like it. All right, oh, come on. I wanted the ball. I wanted the ball. The summoning ball artifact. Well, to the ocean. Here goes nothing. Uh huh. Here, boys. Come and get it. Oh shoot. You throw like a girl, throughput. Okay, that's an interesting critter. Whoa! Creepy. Captain Threepwood! Ah. I see the ocean beasties have been summoned. Are we ready to go then? Yes. Let's yes. go. Well, almost. I'm still waiting for Elaine and stupid LeChuck to get here. Something about monkeys or pants, I don't know. Mm. Guybrush? Elaine, there you are. Come on, let's go. LeChuck, been great seeing you again. Hope the human thing works out for you. I got a wife to go home and snuggle with. Later. Guybrush, mm -hmm. I'm not coming with you. What? It's these monkeys. Why? Well, I'm going to need help getting these poor little guys back to their homes. Don't you trust don't him. Don't grande. You don't need me for don't that. Don't trust him. Besides, I really think I should keep an eye on LeChuck. Trust me, At least sweetie. he doesn't trust him all the okay. way. Don't she worry, she needs boy. To keep her I'll take good care of her while you're gone. Elaine, I'll be back for you in the blink of a squid's eye. Be careful, dear, and don't put your lips on anything. Mr. Winslow, follow those sea creatures. Um, the map? Again with the map? I like Seriously? the map. Forget about like the, map. the map, just go. I thought we agreed. You're making us look bad, just go. All right, all right, I'm going. He likes the map. To Esponja Grande. Oh, the sea creatures. How are you even supposed to point out sea creatures on a map, huh? Sure, it's like, follow these things to wherever the heck they go. With that little, you know, whatever. Are we almost there, Mr. Winslow? I'm not sure, Captain Threepwood. I'm just following the beasties. I have no idea where they're going. Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure they do either. Yeah, they probably don't. We'll be fine, Mr. Winslow. Just stay on course. Ah, this is the sweet pirate life. Ah, uh, yes. Out in the deep blue with your best ship and crew searching for the world's rarest treasures, which just happens to be a giant voodoo-sucking sea sponge in this case. Makes you wonder why Next, anyone some of the rare treasures in uh, Pirates of the right, Caribbean are less Mr. fantastical. Oh, oh come again? on. Miss me? Not really. Turns out the Marquis isn't satisfied with just your hand. He wants the complete package. So I'm taking over this ship and taking you back to Flotsam Island. Try anything funny, and the short one gets it. Is he really that short? 
Hey, give it up. Join my crew. Why don't you give this up? Join me instead. We can sail together, see the world, just you and me, looting and pillaging in every harbor. It could be just like you always dreamed. As wonderful as that sounds, Guybrush, I do have a job to do. Besides, you're already married to Elaine. Ugh. Yeah, but she never lets me do any looting or pillaging either. Aww. Uh, who would I rather be with? Elaine or Miss Morgan LaFleur? I think Elaine. You don't have the skills or the wit to defeat Guybrush Threepwood. I don't need wit to carve a bloody hole in your chest. See, that wasn't witty at all. Yep, not witty at all. Yeah. Alright, where are Captain, they going? Something's happening to the sea creatures. You're bluffing. Go ahead, run him through. I don't think you have the guts. Why must you tempt her, sir? Don't worry, she won't do it. She's only got orders to bring me in. Killing you wouldn't bring her any profit. He's right, I'm afraid. It's part of the Pirate Hunter's Code. Don't kill anyone you aren't getting paid to. So, I'll just kill you, Guybrush. And you think the Marquis will pay you for bringing in my lifeless corpse? No. Nope, Believe he me, this dead body is totally worthless. Hmm. <laughs> I'm betting Lindsay will just wish Guybrush would shut up. I don't believe it. Well, you better believe it, sister. Wait, believe what? Whoa. What? Okay. What the heck is that? Manatee? That's a big freaking manatee. That's a huge freaking manatee. What's such a big manatee doing here? I knew. Next one. Chapter 3. Lair of the Lafayette. And have fun. Stay tuned and subscribe for more thrilling adventures with Dragon Twilight on Monkey Island.